Hello and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing for this week. We're so glad that you're joining us. I want to take just a few moments to tell you, please share this out to as many as you possibly can. This information on a weekly basis, I believe, will be helpful for you to see the signs of the times and know what you're supposed to do as a believer. And this is another one. Today, I want to take up the subject of the artificial intelligence and the Bible. Uh, this article reads, Can a chatbot preach a good sermon? Hundreds attend church service gathered by ChatGPT to find out. The author of this article describes what took place in a church when artificial intelligence, it says, chatbot, asked the believers in the fully packed St. Paul's Church in, in the Bavarian town of Firth in Germany to rise from the pews and begin to praise the Lord. The chatbot, personified by an avatar, of a bearded black man on a huge screen above the altar, then began preaching to more than 300 people who had shown up on the Friday service for this experimental Lutheran church service, almost entirely generated by AI. It goes on to talk about how that they used the chatbot and these different avatars to come and lead the service all the way through even to the Lord's Prayer and other portions of that service. This AI-generated um, service that took place was almost completely entirely generated and produced and displayed by AI. Now, it didn't have any kind of personal uh, engagement. It couldn't laugh with those that were sitting in the pew or even draw the human aspect into the service. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a dangerous thing that's taking place because now we're seeing how that artificial intelligence is trying to encroach on divine intelligence. And ladies and gentlemen, that is taking the place of Almighty God. Now in this next article, AI can create a new Bible, influential author declares. In a few years, he says, uh, there might be religions that are actually correct. So this entire article deals with the leaders of the World Economic Forum, one particular uh, leader who makes the statement, AI can create new ideas and even write a new Bible. He says he, he added throughout history, religion dreamt about having a book written by a superhuman intelligence, by a non-human entity, and that in a few years, there might be religions that are actually correct. Just think about a religion, he says, whose holy book is written by an AI that could be reality in a few years. He goes on to talk about in this article uh, how that uh, the uh, ability for it to write would certainly correct what he perceives to be all the wrongs, especially identifying the Bible. I find it interesting that they didn't mention the Quran or any other religious book. We're going to rewrite the Bible. You're going to rewrite the Word of God. Well, here's what the Bible says. Get this in Romans chapter 1. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Now listen, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And here's the key. They changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made to a corruptible man, to birds, four-footed beasts, and creeping things. They changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creation more than the creator. This is so important for us to understand in light of Bible prophecy because what is happening right now is the absolute rewriting uh, of the Bible in concept, uh, in theology, to change the very word of God. And when that takes place, there is no truth. That's human, AI, uh, putting it together to try to create an alternative truth. Well, where does that lead us to? Well, without the truth of God's word, it's very important there is no morality. Hear what I'm about to tell you. Four things are important for us as all humans. It makes no difference who you are, what your background is, your race, your religion, your country of origin, whatever. Here are the things you need to know that are foundational and basic to our understanding in the world. First of all, we are made in the image of God, according to Genesis 1.25. Second, we have a moral conscience, according to Romans chapter 2. That comes from God and the Bible. We are responsible and will be responsible before God, according to Romans chapter 1, verse 20, and that God will judge each person according to their response to him 
That's found in Romans chapter 2, verses 5 through 11 and 16, John 3, 18, and multiple other passages of Scripture. Why is this so important? Because the Bible says that if we change, Revelation 22, if we remove or add anything to the Word of God, then the plagues of this very book will be added to us and our name will be extracted from the book of life. This Bible is truth because it is God's Word, inspired of the Holy Spirit, written of holy men, the Bible says, inspired of the Holy Spirit. This is so important for us to understand because without the foundation of the Bible, there is no truth. All you have left is a lie, artificial intelligence, not divine intelligence. But I find this very interesting as we close out this briefing today that is really a prophetic statement from the book of Job chapter 21 and 14 in light of Bible prophecy. Here's the verse. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. There's two things that the wicked are saying right here in Job 21, 14. Worldly minded people, people that are not born again, people that are not saved, they desire two things, isolation and ignorance from God. Isolation from God saying that we don't want you around, depart from us, God. This is a command word. And that's exactly what's happening in our society today. Depart from us. Get out of our government. Get out of our schools, God. Get out of our minds. That's what the Bible says in Romans 1. They didn't retain the knowledge of God in their mind. And get out of our churches now. With over 5,000 United Methodist churches exiting the denomination and many, many others. And the exploitation and the removal of God from the very churches and religion and theology that's happening in our world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the fast track to the judgment of God. It sounds like the court system even of today. Get out, God, of our whole society. And this is what's important. The Bible says, therefore, that's the very first word that is used in that verse in Job 21, 14. What is he saying, therefore? Well, you got to know what therefore is. You got to go back in the verses prior to find out that the wicked here in Job 21, 14 have become so opposed to God, listen now, that the reason is not a tragic event or some great loss. Hear what I'm telling you. It was because of prosperity. Because they had become so prosperous, they did not want God around. It was a problem to have God in their minds, in their society, in their land. Prosperity has ruined America. You might not agree with what I'm telling you, but we are in places right now where people are not wanting God anywhere around them, and yet they're calling for more blessing, more of money, more possessions, more things. And what do they do? They're ignorant, they say, of God. We desire not the knowledge of thy ways. The wicked don't want to know about God. And how foolish it is for the wicked not to want to know about God because, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the lack of the knowledge of God and knowing God will put us into a state of such ignorance and such debauchery that there is no one that can lead us in the right direction. We're now at a place where the Bible has become marginalized. And I'll take that up on another Prophecy Files briefing, but I want you to get that physical Bible in your hand and love the truth in this hour, because that truth, the known truth of God, has the power to make you free. Thank you for joining us for Prophecy Files Briefing. And until the next time we get together, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.